we will see how to set up for reflexing a plant material i have taken a weighed amount of a plant material inside this round bottom flask and then we will add, add the solvent using a funnel like this without spilling it inside the mantle sometimes if you are not very confident you can keep it out on a stand and then add the solvent okay right i have added ethanol into this i'm going to make an ethanol extract of this flour you have to add solvent measure it and add just to immerse the plant material not too much you have to have a space one third of the space free for the solvent to boil and go as vapors and condense down the condenser i am fitting the condenser here onto this flask you can add little of silicon grease here not too much slightly a bit of it you can add silicon grease grease to smoothen the joints here but you must not eat, eat use too much of the grease so i'm fixing the condenser see if the clamp is straight We have fixed the condenser. Now, I am switching on. I will keep the temperature of this thermostat temperature indicator here at eighty. Now, once it starts boiling, I will reduce to sixty for uniform boiling. Note the time. You can make a small chart paper here. You place it here. Note the time and the date of starting. And for all plant extracts, we need to boil for. Six hours for complete extraction of the phytoconstituents. This is how you set up for a reflexing process. You can see the reflexing has started. The vapors are condensing down. For complete extraction, uh, you have to carry out this process for six hours. this is a um, way you have to set up for a reflexing process for a plant material this is a picture of the silicon grease which is available in the market we can you can apply this to the ground glass joints of the condenser these are pictures of dried plant material thoroughly dried in under indigenous conditions in india we can just dry in the air we need not uh, use a an oven to dry or uh, you must not dry in the sun this is important